All right, strap in everyone. Today we are going deep on BigBear.ai. BigBear.ai. This company is doing some seriously cool stuff in the AI world with solutions for national security, yeah. digital identity, and even supply chain optimization. Mm -hmm. We're talking about AI that could power self-piloting systems for the military, wow. facial recognition at airports, and even systems that could help get products from the factory to your doorstep more efficiently. Interesting. All thanks to AI. We're going to try to help you figure out if BigBear.ai is a company worth keeping an eye on. Definitely. Especially if you're thinking about investing. I know they've got three main segments to their business, right? That's right. They've got national security, digital identity, and supply chain management. So let's start with national security. This one sounds like some real Mission Impossible type stuff. Maybe not Mission Impossible, but it's definitely high stakes. BigBear.ai is using its AI knowledge to create autonomous systems. These can operate in what they call contested environments. Contested environments. Yeah, think of a drone flying through a really complex or dangerous airspace, and it's collecting data and making decisions oh, wow. in real time, all without a human controlling it directly. That's the type of technology we're talking about. So they're like giving machines the ability to think on their own in really intense situations. Yeah, in a sense. So they've got solutions like Arkeza and Observe, which provide advanced situational awareness and data insights. And these can help defense agencies to make really important decisions. So it's all about giving people on the front lines the best and fastest information possible. You got it. Okay, that's powerful stuff. Let's move on to digital identity. This is where we see facial recognition and biometrics in action, right? That's right. BigBear.ai is changing how we verify identities with AI. Think about the long lines and security checkpoints at airports. Oh, yeah. Through their Pangium solutions, they're trying to simplify that process using facial recognition tech. In fact, they're using a system called Veriscan at Denver International Airport. So passengers can just walk through security with a quick glance at a camera. So it's not just about making things easier. It's about yeah. making security even better, too, right? Exactly. The technology is designed to be really accurate and super secure. Okay. Which is absolutely critical when dealing with something as sensitive as identity. Let's talk about something that maybe doesn't sound as exciting at first, yeah. but it's just as important. Okay. Supply chain management. How is AI changing things up in this area? This is where we start talking about the digital twin concept. Imagine making a virtual copy of an entire supply chain. BigBear.ai's Pro Model and Dominate platforms actually do this. Really? They use AI to model and optimize every part of the supply chain. We're talking about manufacturing, transportation, oh, wow. inventory management, all yeah. of it. So this way, companies can find bottlenecks, predict disruptions, and just make their entire supply chains more efficient and resilient, which in today's world is right. crucial. It's like having a crystal ball to see problems before they even happen. That's got to be super valuable for businesses. Absolutely. And you know what? Uh -huh. That value is being recognized because BigBear.ai has had some really big wins lately Yeah. that are getting investors excited. Well, let's get into that. Uh -huh. What's been happening? I know they landed a big contract with the U.S. Army, didn't they? They did. We're talking about a $165 million deal. $165 million. To help the Army with their Global Force Information Management, okay. or GFAOE. It's a huge show of confidence in BigBear.ai's ability to deliver when it comes to military logistics. Okay, so big win there. And they're also yeah. involved in cybersecurity and space. It sounds like something straight out of a movie. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? So they partnered with Proof Labs on the Cyber Resilient On Orbit Project. That's CRO for short. Okay. And it's all about protecting space systems from cyber attacks. Oh, wow. And with how much we rely on things like satellites now for communication, navigation, and intelligence, this is a really important area. And BigBear.ai is stepping up. And let's not forget about Veriscan being used more and more at Denver International Airport. This kind of brings us back to their digital identity segment, and it really shows they're not all talk. They're actually putting things into practice. That's right. They are definitely walking the walk. And all these recent developments are painting a picture of a company that's not just innovating, but also putting those innovations into action. They're getting real world contracts, not just theoretical potential. So that's a really powerful combo and it's exciting investors. OK, so now everyone wants to know, what does this all mean for their financial performance? Let's take a look at the numbers. As of January 3rd, 2025, okay. Big Bear has a market cap of $1.12 billion uh -huh. and an enterprise value of $1.26 billion. 
these are pretty impressive figures. But I did hear something about them missing their revenue target in Q3. What happened there? You're right. Even though their overall performance this year has been really strong, right. their revenue for Q3 2024 was a little less than expected. Yeah. yeah. They brought in $41.5 million, which is a bit lower than the $45 million everyone was anticipating. It's not a huge deal, but it's something investors are paying attention to. So a bit of a bump in the road, but overall, things seem to be moving in the right direction. Exactly. And if you look at how their stock is doing, it's still looking pretty good. The stock is currently trading at $4.11 then. Okay. And that's still a significant increase of 118.62% since the start of the year. All right, let's break those numbers down a little more. Can you remind me about the price to book and price to sales ratio? I always get those two mixed up. It's easy to get lost in all the financial lingo. Don't worry about it. Yeah. The price to book ratio, we call it PB, okay. is currently sitting at 11.41 for BigBear.ai. This basically means investors are valuing the company at 11.41 times its book value. Or book value. Yeah, and that basically represents the company's net worth if they sold off all their assets. Now, a high PB ratio like this usually means investors are optimistic about the company's future growth. Oh, interesting. Even if their current assets don't quite reflect that potential yet. So they're putting their faith in Big Bear Eye's future, not just what they have right now. Exactly. Now, we also have the price to sales ratio, or PS, okay. which for BigBear.ai is 2.57. 2.57. That's right. This means investors are willing to pay 2.57 cents for every dollar of revenue that BigBear.ai generates. Again, this shows a positive feeling towards BigBear.ai's potential for growing its revenue. Okay. Basically, investors are saying they think the company is going to increase its revenue significantly in the next few years. So even with that Q3 revenue miss, the market still seems to have confidence in their ability to bounce back. It seems that way, yeah. But there's more to the story than just those ratios. Their financials also highlight some other important numbers. They've currently got $65.58 million in cash on hand, which is a pretty healthy cushion. However, they also have a total debt of $206.14 million. That's quite a bit of debt. Should we be worried about that? It's something to keep an eye on for sure. What are the experts saying about BigBear.ai stock overall? This is where it gets interesting. Even with that Q3 miss, most analysts are still really positive about BigBear.ai. The general consensus is a strong buy, with an average price target of $4.33. Now, this means there's a potential 5.35% increase from its current price. So the experts are still saying it's a good time to buy? That's the general feeling, yeah. Whoa. Some analysts are even more optimistic. The most bullish target is $7, which would be a potential increase of over 68%. Wow, that's a big jump. But we have to be realistic, right? Every investment has its risks. What are some of the things investors should be cautious about? That key three revenue miss is definitely something to think about. Mm -hmm. It raises the question of whether BigBear.ai can consistently hit its ambitious financial targets. Okay. And there's also the possibility of stock dilution if they need to raise more capital down the road. Because issuing more shares could lower the value of the shares that are already out there, right? That's right. Plus, we can't forget about the competition. The AI sector is hot right now, and there are tons of companies fighting for a piece of the pie. So BigBear.ai has to keep innovating to stay ahead of the game. Absolutely. So would you say BigBear.ai is a good fit for any type of investor? That's where understanding your own risk tolerance and investment goals comes in. BigBear.ai is a growth company, okay. which means there's inherent risk, but also the potential for big returns. So if someone's looking for a safe and steady investment, this might not be the right fit. But if they're willing to take on a little more risk for the chance of a bigger payoff, then BigBear.ai could be worth looking into. But it's crucial to do your homework, understand their financials, and carefully consider the risks and rewards. And never forget to diversify. Never put all your eggs in one basket, no matter how good it looks. Absolutely. Diversification is key to having a well-rounded investment portfolio. That's all for today's deep dive into BigBear.ai. We hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.